two identical charged spheres are suspended by string of equal length. The string makes an angle 37 with each other. When suspended in a liquid of density 0.7 gram per centimeter cube, the angle remains same. If the density of the material of the sphere is 1.4 gram per centimeter cube, the dielectric constant of the liquid is. So let us assume I have this arrangement in vacuum or in air. Then what will happen? Uh, these are the threads or the strings which are tied to this and what will happen as these are charged so what will happen they will repel each other so in repelling they are trying to go away from each other but the gravitational force pulls them downward and this tension pulls them upward now what will happen this bowl or this sphere finds equilibrium at this position by making an angle theta with this vertical so in equilibrium situation what is happening the uh, electrostatic force right uh, pulls it in a hori uh, push it in the horizontal direction whereas the gravitational force pulls it downward right and the tension pulls it upward so now if i try to uh, make the component of the tension so here this is angle theta and the tension is along the thread or along the string so this uh, if you make this is an alternate angle right so this is theta this is also theta so t has a component t cos theta and t sine theta so t cos theta because it is in equilibrium t cos theta balance balances mg and t sine theta balances fe here is a here there is an electrostatic force right so from the figure we can say t sine theta is equals to fe and t cos theta is balanced by mg now if you take the ratio if you take the ratio then what you will find here the uh, uh, this t and t will get cancelled sine theta by cos theta is 10 theta is equals to fe by mg now fe is a electrostatic force and here m is mass mass is equal to density into volume so density of sphere into volume of sphere into g now when these spheres are suspended in liquid then what is happening the the liquid also applies buoyant force to them the liquid also applies buoyant force to them and liquid is a dielectric material so it has dielectric constant and the the dielectric constant means it reduces the force between the spheres okay so the new electric force between the two spheres the new uh, the new electric force between the two spheres is uh, if original is fe in vacuum then in medium it will become k times less so the new electrostatic force is fe by k and the buoyant force is given by because in liquid the mg is acting downward whereas buoyant force is acting upward right so that is fb okay so here it is rho s minus rho l v into g this is from fluid mechanics okay class 11 so the buoyant force is rho s minus rho l there is a difference in the density of the sphere minus the liquid into volume into g it is same like this but here the density of liquid we have to consider now it is fe by k into rho s minus rho l v into g see in both the case it is given that the angle is same right so here 10 theta is equals to 10 theta so we can put this two equation right on the either side so on one side we have fe by rho s v g and on the other side we have fe by k rho s minus rho l v g so v g and v g will get cancelled so here we are, uh, we make k as a subject so k is equal again fe and fe will get cancelled so k is equal to rho s will go towards this side so rho s by rho s minus rho l here rho s is the density of the sphere and rho l is the density of the liquid so density of the sphere is given 1.4 again 1.4 and this is 0 0.7 so minus 0 0.7 if you solve this you will get value of k is 2 means the value of dielectric constant of the liquid is 2